Cats Training Module 2, Engine Connection and Main Diagnostic Menu. Covers engine connections and engine selection menu overview. Connecting stats to engine, IQ, system selection, main diagnostic menu consisting of ECU identification, fault code menu, live data menu, forced output test menu, special functions menu. Connecting stats to an engine. The first step in connecting stats to an engine is verifying the engine's make, model, and year. Once the user has verified the engine info, the user can look up what cables and dongle is required via the user manual or CRIQ. These two methods of lookup will also show what features are available for each specific engine. Connect the appropriate cables and dongle to the stats and locate the diagnostic link connector or DLC and plug in the stats. IQ can also be helpful in locating the DLC if it is not easily found. Once connected, power on the stats. Use standard or beta software, user's preference, and stats will prompt you for your passcode. This passcode is designed to keep your investment protected in case of theft. Stats will now display a disclaimer regarding software copyright infringement. Read this carefully and press the enter key. Stats is now on the engine selection menu. Select the appropriate engine and follow the prompts stats displays. The last prompt will be to ensure the ignition switch is on. After you have verified the ignition switch has been turned on, press the enter key. At this time, the stats will establish communications with the engine. If communication has failed, ensure all connections are secure and the ignition switch is still on. Main Diagnostic Menu ECU ID Stats is now displaying the ECU identification screen. This includes pertinent information regarding the engine, vessel, such as manufacturer, model, VIN number, engine type, and ECU number. Note, not all information is available on all engines, depending on the ECU stats is connected to. The F3 key is the save key. You may also press the touch screen above F3, which shows a picture of the save disk. This will save the information on the screen to the stats memory and can be recalled by connecting stats to a PC and uploading the data. After saving the data, press the enter key to continue. Stats will now display the main diagnostic menu. This menu is standard to all engines stats connects to. The menu consists of ECU ID, fault codes, live data, forced output test, and special functions. Fault codes. The fault code menu is designed to display, save, and clear diagnostic trouble codes or DTCs. Some engines will only display one type of DTCs, while more advanced engines will display active, occurred, and history type DTCs. When viewing fault codes, stats shows how many fault codes or DTCs are stored in the ECU, which fault code you are looking at. Example, 001 out of 007, viewing fault code 1 of 7. And fault code number. Below the fault code number, there is a description of the fault code. Depending on the engine, freeze frame data is available from this screen by pressing the enter key. Stats also displays possible causes on select engines by pressing the right arrow key from the fault code screen. The possible causes screen shows the most popular reason why the fault code of DTC may have been triggered. To return to the fault code screen from the freeze frame or possible causes screen, simply press the back key. The F3 key is the save key. You may also press the touch screen above F3, which shows a picture of a saved disk. This will save the information on the screen to the stats memory and can be recalled by connecting stats to a PC and uploading the data. Pressing the save button only saves information displayed on the screen and the process will need to be repeated for all fault codes in the ECU memory. The F5 key is the fault code clear function. 
You may also press the DTCX icon above F5 on the touchscreen. This function will safely clear all fault codes in the ECM memory. Some engines save multiple fault code memories, such as active, occurred, and historical. Active and occurred fault codes need to be cleared individually. Historical codes are not resettable. Live data. The live data menu is designed to monitor and record data parameters in real time. It also allows the user to save screenshots of the data by using the save function. The F3 key is the save key. You may also press the touch screen above F3, which shows a picture of a saved disk. This will save the information on the screen to the stats memory and can be recalled by connecting stats to a PC and uploading the data. Note, pressing the save button only saves information displayed on the screen and the process will need to be repeated for each page of parameters. Use the up and down arrows to scroll the live data parameters one at a time or use the left and right arrows to page up and down all the parameters in the live data menu. The user may also use the touch screen to scroll down the parameters as well. Depending on the engine, multiple live data menus may be available. Some engines break down the live data into smaller menus to increase the refresh rate of the parameter values. For example, Honda outboard engines into submenus like sensor data, status data, voltage data, and switch data. Live data recording is also available on STATS live data menu by pressing the F5 soft key or by pressing the data record icon on the touch screen to access the live data recording menu. Once the live data record menu is accessed, the soft keys change to back, stop, play, and record. Press the record icon to begin recording the data on the screen. You can record up to 30 seconds at one time. When finished recording, press the stop button. You can now use the play button to play back what has been recorded. If you record again, it adds to the previous recording. Once the playback has stopped, you are automatically reverted to viewing the streaming live data again until you press play again. The live data recording is only available on stats and is not transferable to a PC for later viewing. The live data memory card is cleared when the stats is powered down to ensure full memory usage in the next diagnostic session. Forced Output Testing The Forced Output Testing menu allows you to isolate the cause of a problem between the ECU, the component, wiring, or other related components. Forced output testing allows you to override the ECU to determine if the engine responds back properly. These tests are available statically, key on, engine off, or dynamically, key on, engine running. Depending on the engine being diagnosed, the forced output test can consist of, but are not limited to, ignition coil testing, fuel injector testing, power balance testing, fuel pump testing, malfunction indicator lamp testing, warning buzzer and lamp testing, EGR testing, IAC motor testing, and much more. Most of these tests confirm operation with an audible noise of the components activating when command on from the scan tool. Other tests, such as the fuel pump dynamic test, will shut the fuel pump off while the engine is running, so confirmation on this test would be if the engine stops running. This particular test checks if the fuel pump has been shorted to ground or if the ECU is to blame. Special functions. Special functions are features specific to each engine manufacturer. Special functions can consist of, but not limited to, hour data, oil break-in reset cycles, maintenance light resets, system information, set ignition timing, resetting oil type, priming oil pump, trim sensor calibration, winterization function, and much more. 
our data is usually broken down by engine RPM. This allows the user to see how the customers are operating the engines. This is also a good tool to use during winterization and after engine rebuilds to monitor if the engine was ran after winterization or if the engine was ran inappropriately after a rebuild. This concludes Training Module 2. Please watch the other training modules in our Stats Training Series. Thanks for watching.